Rosalie, now that we've got a new Prime Minister, that the Prime Minister for Indigenous Affairs has been replaced, do you expect any change in the way Aboriginal policy is, is, is administered? I live in hope that there will be truth and justice in the next leg of the First Nations people. We are citizens of this country. Furthermore, I believe that we've really had the rough end of the stick. And hopefully, hopefully, there will be some human touches in the policies that come down from Canberra and from the bureaucracy. And I hope people will treat my people and myself with the dignity which we should be receiving. Yeah, I hope there will be a change. Now, um, do, do you know uh, Prime Minister Turnbull? Have you, do you know uh, of what, his, what he's likely to be as a Prime Minister and whether he has much involvement with uh, Aboriginal issues? Look, I do not know the gentleman. Um, just looking at him through the television news and so forth, I see a human being who may have far more compassion and have the intelligence to receive us as human beings. I hope very soon that I will have the opportunity of catching up with him and of course with Mrs Turnbull. I work through the women because women don't have the bigger ego as men do. And I hope that as a family man and as, a, as another human being of this country, that there will be some intelligence applied to the citizenry, citizenship of Aboriginal people. I'm not saying I want to enter into the Constitution, but there needs to be real dialogue between Anuna, us black people of this country, and our brothers and sisters in the mainstream. Now, the Prime Minister Abbott set up the uh, Indigenous Advisory Council, hand-picked Indigenous Advisory Council, what do you think should happen to that now? Advisory Council, as far as I'm concerned, is a waste of time. I know they speak the Queen's English, but there are many languages and many nations of First Nations people. In other words, there are family groups, there are clan groups, and there are a tribal group. There might be the Illawarra people, there might be the Pitjantjatjara people, there might be the Walpuri people. We do not, we do not dictate to each other. And our Alkira, which is our law and order from years ago, is still alive and well. We do not say we have a conflict with our white brothers and sisters, but we do have a conflict with those that are advising the Prime Minister or the bureaucrats, and it is time we spoke face to face from each tribal group to those that make laws for us. We do not want those laws to go on with unintelligent application towards us. Now, you say there's a conflict between the advisers to government and the people. What do you mean by that? Conflict meaning that is conversation one way, dictatorship one way, by people who scramble to use the poverty of First Nations people as a commodity. What hurts me the most is that people can set themselves up 
as the authority and say, you do not have to think. We will do the thinking for you and we know what you need. Well, I can't say that. As an individual, I can say yes, because they do not represent me as a tribal person, nor do they hold the world value or the world viewpoint that I have. They are a different people to me. To be assimilated completely is not the answer. To be true to who you are and what you are this has been honed for thousands of years on this country. No, they don't speak for me, nor have they had conversation in real terms with tribal heartlands of this country, whether it's in Tasmania or whether it's in the islands up north, doesn't matter. This thing of setting or handpicking a group of people who you have made a carbon copy of our brothers and sisters worldview is not the answer. The answer is for real truth and justice journey in this country of ours. I hope that we take the road as quickly as we probably can of a treaty being reached by the Prime Minister's people, who are also my people in this country, and the First Nations people. Let's get on an equal footing. Do not throw us on the welfare heap and leave us languish there. We need, as I said before, truth and justice. We don't have to linger in the horrendous history of how this country was settled. We need a treaty and a truth and justice journey to look at where we meet and how we can enrich this country together, not raid this country. Beautiful. I think we can leave it there. That's Thank fantastic. That's Thank good. you, Mike. <laughs> I will hide in the spinifex, I will hide under the gum trees, and you won't find me. Badger? Yeah. Good morning, Billy. Und da in der Wohnung? Rangwa?